But first, this week, a new exhibition at the Hayward claims to bring together the world's funniest art under one roof. Carl Pilkington went along to see if it could raise a laugh. I've always liked to do a bit of drawing, and I like looking at drawings. But art galleries, they, they do me head in. Everyone takes it all a bit too seriously. There's a bit of me that doesn't like modern art, because a lot of it seems pointless to me. It doesn't, doesn't make sense, and it's not the sort of stuff I'd want in my house. But I think part of that is because I live in a small flat anyway, so not a, a lot of modern art won't fit in it. The Awood Gallery's got this new exhibition on that's called Laughing in a Foreign Language. I'm a bit worried, though, because, you know, when people say something's going to be funny, it never is, is it? Anyway, I I'm off to look around with the curator. She's called Mammy. I want to find out whether art can ever be funny. We brought together 30 artists from uh, 20 different countries, trying to see how uh, humour works in contemporary art context. You've had to laugh at this for it to get in here. <laughs> I laughed so much on some of these works, first time I saw the work. But is anyone else laughing, or is it just you on your own laughing? <laughs> no, no, other people are laughing as well. Are they? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because you don't normally get laughter in a gallery, do you? Yes, yes. That's one of my ideas, that I didn't want the contemporary arts to be always complex and serious. Yeah. If that means the clown is not wearing the shoes. I'm in the third room already, and I'm still not laughing. But she's loving it. It's all a bit awkward. That's what I think art is. It's stuff that you'd be happy having in your, in your lounge. I see, I see. No, no, I think that the art gallery, this is a place to experience something extraordinarily. <laughs> One of the artists is David Shrigley. He's got loads of stuff on show. I mean, look at that lot. It's mental. I don't know if he's had enough time, though. A few of them look a bit rushed to me. Hello. Hello. You're David. I am. And this is all your stuff? It is. Is that the best man you can draw? If I can draw a better man than that. <laughs> yeah, certainly. You know, I went to art school and I can do all that kind of, you know, perspective and whether you can kind of draw is neither here nor there it's like being in a band and asking how well you can play the guitar it's just like well you don't have to play the guitar that well does everything mean something eh? say like this one of the fella uh -huh. is that just a, a gay bloke climbing a tree or does uh, that's a flower all it's right a, big a flower. flower yeah it's either a big flower or a small oh, gay, gay guy Homosexual. And is that it? Is that all I'm, I'm meant to get from that? There's no hidden... Well, there's no, there's no reference point to classic literature or anything like that, if that's what you mean. Yeah, um, that's what I meant. Just, he just happens to be a homosexual. Yeah, and he's climbing a tree. There's no, no problem there. Oh, it's, it's a flower. flower. A flower. And do you think you'll... How will you move it on? Because that's... that's uh, well, that's what artists do, and they like to step it up a gear. Would you ever think about... I don't know, colouring them in. David had two big walls to himself, which seemed a bit unfair to me when Nedko, another artist, had come all the way from Bulgaria and he'd just been stuck in a stairwell. They've not even given him any paper. He just draws on the walls and sort of uses the shadows to help tell little stories. Where did the idea come from? Because I've never seen it before, someone using... I like to play with the people's expectations people, they enter an exhibition space and they say there is no show. It's completely empty because from a distance you can't see that stuff. Yeah, it just looks at, like the a fire time, at the same time you can see people which they're like a bending or they're looking in a very peculiar way, they're squatting down and in a way the people they complete the show and then you get attracted by, okay, what are they looking in this empty space there? Yeah, that's good. So you get, you're gonna do something especially for us, are you? For you? Yeah. yeah. I'll make something special for you. And this is just made up right now, yeah? You... Yes. The only reason for writing this is that there is a BBC Two cultural show crew filming it. Brilliant. So you see. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, welcome. Cheers, Nick. Okay. <laughs> 
I like Nedco and David, but I'm still not laughing. Maybe it's me. I need something to get me in the mood. Luckily, the hay would have laid on some workshops, so I thought I'd give laughing yoga a go. Hello, everybody. So, I'm Amanda Bates, representing the Laughter Network. So, I'm not going to talk too much to you now. Let's just experience the wonderful benefits of laughter. Let's go. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. 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 So what's the idea then? I mean, is, is the idea that people come and see you first, have a good laugh, then go and see this art? <laughs> or do they see the art and go, that wasn't that funny, come here and have a good laugh? Well, I think there'll be a lot of laughter at the Hayward Gallery for the exhibition. Really? People can come to us at any point, so tap into some dynamic laughter and move it around your body and release all of your stress. Um, and then go to the exhibition, or the other way around. I think either will work well. <laughs> <laughs> that was all a bit weird, and I'm still none the wiser. Uh, so I'm off to meet a comedian who's definitely funny, and he's quite good at art. He's even got his own exhibition. The thing down at the a -wood, it's yeah. it's it's art with a bit of humour. Yeah. Do you think that's possible? Yeah, definitely. And I think that if you're a comedian and you do art and people come to your exhibition, they're probably going to be slightly disappointed if it isn't a little bit funny. I don't know. I'm trying to get, the, trying to get really little simple things that are funny. Like, I have a painting over there that's called No Yes, and I just like the fact that the two freakish sort of shapes are arguing with each other. And I just thought No Yes is the simplest way to express an argument. And it just because it's coming out of their faces, it looks quite funny. Yeah, that's, that's quite clever, though, isn't it? It's not just daft, it's a, it's a lot of thought going into that, isn't it? Well, I always think that, like, with weird stuff and surreal stuff and nonsense stuff, people think it's just sort of random, but then actually, you know, there's always quite a lot of thought that goes into stuff. Even with the bush, you know, we don't just go in and go, ah, let's, let's make a man out of potato skins. We don't really do that, do you know what I mean? Although that is quite funny. But um, <laughs> I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> that was a bad example. <laughs> quite like to see a man made out of potato skins. <laughs> I'm sure Mammy would like the potato skin fella for the A wood. And I'm hoping that she'll like a little film that I made. Seems to make people laugh. Yeah. <laughs> that good? <laughs> Is it all right if I sort of show the, uh, bring it along tonight, show the critics, just see if. Yeah, sure, yeah? sure. Just see what reaction I get. Yes. Great. It's the opening night of the exhibition. I can't see anyone laughing, so I thought maybe this is a good time to show my work to some of the critics. See what you think of this. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> is that the sort of thing you could have on an exhibition like this? No, not really. Why? There's too much laughing in it. You experiencing misfortune uh, is, is quite funny. <laughs> oh dear. That, that is the first laugh I've had in this show. So I congratulate you.